Ah, she stole it. Howdy folks, Charlie here from Christmas on Crestline. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for tuning in to a Hot Ones subscription box review. Today we have September 2020, that's right. Season 13 sauces are gonna be eaten today. You excited? Yes. Brother-in-law Ryan's here too. Hi Ryan. Right. Hi Ryan. Hi guys. So we have season 13 sauces here today. Season 13 hasn't even been released yet uh, as far as the episodes, the shows go. But you know what? We got the sauces inside the box and I cannot wait to try them. I'm going to show them real quick what's in the box and then we're going to eat these season 13 sauces. Does that sound like a good idea? Does that sound good? 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 That's good. That hit me. All right, Terry. This is interesting. This is a great show. Yes. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. What's in the box? What's in the box? Let's find out what's in the box. Ho, ho, ho. So as usual, we have the Heat and the Sticker here, which is just their uh, brand right there, which is pretty neat. Ooh, what is this episode? Oh, very cool. We finally have a, not a, oh, it is a caption that cartoon. Okay. I like the ones where they have uh, puzzles. This is a caption that in this month's first episode, Sean puts his truth or dab skills to the test against an all-star gang of season hot ones competitors. Caption this cartoon and tag at Heatness and at First We Feast for a chance to win a free bottle of sauce. Very cool. Uh, then we got the lineup of this month's sauces from our friend Noah over there at Heatness. We have the Angry Goat Pepper Goat Rider Hot Sauce, the Heartbeat Hot Sauce Scorpion Pepper Sauce, and Hellfire Detroit Bourbon Habanero Ghost, which I am very 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 excited about this one as i understand it this is a barrel aged uh, hot sauce and we love hellfire detroit's brands we've never had a hellfire detroit that we didn't like love that label it's got a mylar look to it taste no evil and on a scale of 10 scale it's like they are rating themselves a 7 out of 10 but i just love their mylar look very cool now this will be our very first uh, squeezable bottle. These are all hot sauces from season 13. Uh, this is the very first squeezable, I believe, and this is the new sauce for season 13. Very cool, I like the simplistic label. Very neat looking. And ooh, this is some neat graphics. Let's see what this one has for us. Let's see here, this, ooh, look at that. That is a neat, they got the red, white, and blue. Hot sauce, angry goat. Got the kind of looks like the uh, the metal there. That'd make a great front license plate, huh? Very neat looking. I like the graphics. Very cool. Let's we'll see what they taste like. I gotta tell you, I'm disappointed in this month's subscription box. Just gonna throw that out there. Gonna call you out, heatness.com. Uh, I got the normal uh, sticker. I did not get a unique sticker. Normally they give us their label sticker, and then a unique sticker. Did not get a unique sticker in the box today. Unique what? Uh, I am very disappointed about that. I like the unique stickers. Last month, they had the, the constrictor with the scorpion pepper for the fangs. We had a little cute Sean Evans one time. Nothing in the box this time. Okay. Very disappointed. Uh, so yes, today for Whiskey and Wings uh, weekend, Weekends. Which is what we're, we do. We're changing it to weekend. Weekend. You know what? Because people drink or more apt to drink whiskey and have wings on a weekend rather than a Wednesday. Mm. So today we're going with Stranahan's. This Stranahan's is a distillery in Colorado Springs, and they Denver, 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 Colorado, and they are a single malt distiller. So it's basically an American version of Scotch. And they're doing a lot of amazing things with American single malts right now. Yeah, they, well they are. This is their Sherry Cast single malt whiskey. This is 47% ABV, uh, or um, would that be uh, 90? Oh, I can smell the sherry. 
You can smell shrimp. Um, so yeah, 40%, 47% ABV, so 94% or 94 proof. Um, but yeah, Rocky Mountain Stranahan Sherry Cask. What are you getting on the nose there? Wife? Very strong sherry. I get a lot of that. Insulate, you get predominant sherry out of that. Did you already drink it? Yeah. Going straight in, just jumping off that diving board. I don't know enough about whiskey. I'm like, I smell whiskey. And okay. And I tasted whiskey and I liked it. We just went on a kind of a distillery tour. We hit 291, we hit AD Laws, we hit um, Straight of Hands, and another one. I forget the name of the fourth one. But at some point, one of the guys said, if you want to get into whiskey, take a sip every day for 30 days. And by the 30th day, you'll be able to get all the little nuances. It's your homework. Yeah, it's your homework. Drink whiskey every day for the next 30 days. I need to borrow some whiskey. Oh, that's not your homework. Well, borrow constitutes you're going to get it back. <laughs> so. But you get the sherry, and I'm not a huge sherry guy. I'm just not. I, I prefer rice as my number one. Are we saying cherry? Sherry with an H. Or with, a, with an H. No, sherry with an SH. Yeah. Sherry cask. Sherry cask. So basically, you have a, a wooden American oak, white American oak cask. It's had sherry in it. That, that cask is then emptied, and then they put their single malt back into that same cask. Um, so that then becomes their single malt with a sherry cask influence. It's like Cherry 7-Up. Okay, I get that. Cherry 7-Up, you get caramels. I get the oak. I get a little bit of salt on the nose. They're just making stuff up. It's all there. You just gotta, you just gotta <laughs> nose it. <clears throat> For it, supposedly being like a scotch, it's not. It's it's whiskey. And that, that's probably not something they say, that's just my descriptor okay. of it to you. So you're wrong. Normally. You know what? At least I'm consistent. Ryan, what do you got for sauces here today? Angry Goat Pepper Company Goat Rider Hot Sauce. Medium heat cayennes, pick, uh, pack a nice punch up front. While tangy balsamic vinegar opens up the palate, the real star in ingredient is a Vermont maple syrup that adds sweetness and the slightest hint of smoke. It's finished with roasted sweet red bell pepper and a hint of ghost pepper for a one-two punch of flavor and heat. It's a must try on steak, burgers, grilled chicken sandwiches, and more. And I'm hoping chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> chicken wings is included in the and more. <laughs> In the and more. In the and more. All right. Ooh, it's got a really nice smell. It looks when you pour it on your wing right there. It looks like um, very wet uh, brownie batter. Kind of what I got out of that. Interesting. I am not creative, so I just see it as hot sauce. Nice <laughs> sleeve in it. See, look at that. Kind of just cakes. Cakes. Looks Coats. Like, looks like barbecue sauce. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see brownie batter. You see. It smells a little bit like barbecue sauce because the, the like brown sugar, the maple syrup. Oh, yeah. maple yeah. syrup, brown sugar, yeah. <clears throat> Woo! Went in too quick there. That is a very pungent. I get the vinegar, brown sugar. She said brown sugar. Did you? Sugar. Okay. It's very brown sugar forward. Butter. Smells delicious. A hint of smoke. A bit of cocoa, actually. Mm hmm. Hmm. We're having to go in. Gonna go in. Sweet like, sweet like sugar water sweet. It's not too sweet at all, it's just sweet in general. Kind of like a diluted sugar water. I'm not getting ghost. No. I can see this working well on a hamburger. Kind of, it's, it's very similar, I think. Well, it has similarities, I should say. I think that probably A1. You think? No, not, not savory I don't enough? think so. No. Okay. 
I do think that the kids would even need this. I think that they But the uh, red bell pepper with a hint of ghost pepper for a one two punch of flavor and heat. Yeah, there's no heat. There's no heat. That's what the, you said kid, you think kids would like it? My wife would eat it. She can't eat pepper. <laughs> too hot. Pepper's too hot for your wife? Yeah. Huh. All right, Ryan, so what do you got for us for, for number two? Number two, heartbeat hot sauce. Scorpion pepper sauce. So heartbeat hot sauce must be the, uh, the manufacturer okay. the brand. The brand. Scorpion pepper sauce. <clears throat> Our friends at Heartbeat amped up the heat for the 13th season with a scorpion pepper take on their tried and true formula. The taste, as always, is beyond balance with sweet peppers, citrusy lemon, a smack of garlic, and a pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. The well-rounded flavor and hot, uh, but not mild melting spice levels mean this is our new go-to sauce for eggs, strange, tacos, pizza, wings, practically anything edible. Were you here for our uh, review when they suggested put it in yogurt? No. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. The, the, the classic hot one sauce, like their, their, number, their stage one sauce, their, their you, first sauce, they recommend putting it in yogurt. Did you put it in yogurt? I don't like yogurt, so no. Okay. But I mean, I, I do put some Cholula on eggs, but that's just a strange thing to... See, I don't even put ketchup on eggs. To me, eggs, salt, pepper, boom, you're done. I'm an adult, I don't eat ketchup at all, so... <laughs> I love ketchup. Now, there was some debate on another show on Pepper Geek whether or not ketchup is a sauce. Is ketchup. As opposed to they said it was a good, I think a hamburger sauce, what they called it. Is ketchup a sauce? I guess it is. You mean it's condiment? As as a, yeah, a condiment sauce. or sauce? Which would you I mean, rather it's call it? It's definitely a condiment. Okay. okay. But would you call it a condiment or sauce? If you have to describe it, how do you describe it? As a sauce? Tomato paste sauce. Tomato sauce. Yeah. All right. Shout out to Pepper Geek. <clears throat> this mentioned like nothing from peppers, so I imagine it's probably gonna be the hottest one we eat. Ah, uh, second sauce. It shouldn't be. But you know, you're right. It does. It just talks about the flavor. Just garlic and okay. salt. The... Well, the lid doesn't come off. It's just twists up huh. and down. You know, I'm just gonna leave it all gooped up on there. You're just gonna goop it. I'm gonna goop it. We'll give him the brush in case he wants oh, to. Oh yeah. Clean it. I'm gonna brush. I don't, well, I don't goop. Little goop will do you. It's the only time I feel like an artist. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get on the nose, wife? I'm gonna cleanse my palate. Ooh, garlic. I don't like it. Vinegar. I can smell. You can smell. I'm getting ghost. Vinegar. Yeah. You don't get any ghost pepper out of that? No, vinegar. Lots of vinegar. You already ate it? No. no. Right, yeah, I took one of the oh, yeah. parts of the wing off. Yeah. I get ghost pepper, <clears throat> vinegar. All I smell is vinegar. Tabasco. A little hint of garlic. Yeah, garlic and vinegar, but lots of vinegar. No, no, no. I get the garlic. Whew. Maybe a bit of orange? I get spice, I get pepper. I'm going in. Going in. Vinegar, tangy, mm -hmm. twangy. What'd you get, Ryan? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not tasting a whole lot of flavor here. I think it's kind of weak. It doesn't have a well-rounded palate as far as it's not hitting you on a bunch of different levels. Mm -hmm. It's pretty straightforward. Here I am. Well, you, you, I think you probably nailed it when they, you see they left out the, the pepper descriptors. I think if I were to use this, <clears throat> I would put it in maybe like a stir fry with some rice or something. I get that. I could do that. Um, but yeah. I wouldn't do it on a chicken wing. Yeah, no. Yeah, I wouldn't order these that on a chicken wing. But I think you nailed it with stir fry. Boom. Ryan, what you got for number three? This is what I'm waiting for. Hellfire Detroit. Hellfire! Present the newest offering from Detroit's favorite hot sauce maker. This sauce takes their classic fire roasted habanero flavor and adds an oaky bourbon blast to light up your taste. Yeah. Taste. Lime juice tickles the cheeks. <clears throat> right before the slow burn of smoked ghost pepper takes you on a capsaicin trip. Boom, nailed it. This sauce won't melt you down, but it will transport you to a new level of flavor when paired with barbecue, burgers, or roasted chicken. 
<laughs> Sean just had his, huh? Paintbrush, please. Oh, yes. Sean just had his uh, season 13 reveal come out a little while ago. And as soon as he mentioned, because we're big fans of Hellfire. In fact, uh, Hellfire Detroit actually got a hold of us a little while ago and said hi. But we sent them a review of um, their last sauce we did a review on. We, they wanted to see that video, so we sent them a link to that. Uh, so, <coughs> last sauce, no heat to it, but it's creeping up on me now. Yeah, pepper's stuck in my throat. But we're freaking excited about this one. It's runny, um, but it's got little chunks of I was gonna say, I was wondering, yeah, it does. It's got peppers and like table pepper. Ooh. Seeds. It looks, seeds. seeds. I'm just gonna douse it on there because if you can't be, can't be bad. If you're gonna barrel your sauce in an ex bourbon barrel, <coughs> I got pepper stuck in my throat from that last sauce you guys didn't say, said it wasn't hot. No, nope, I'm not gonna do it. This is a whiskey this, and wings this show. A, this is not a challenge. This is you gotta taste it. You gotta cleanse your palate. You gotta what do you want it in? Cleanse my palate. Um, or get whatever stuck in your throat out of there. Boys are silly. So, but yeah, this is this is right up our alley. Whiskey and wings combining into one sauce. At number seven, it's Hellfire Detroit's Bourbon Habanero Ghost. And how about this for a flavor profile? Tangy apple cider vinegar, oaky bourbon, fire roasted habaneros, smoked ghost peppers. It is the perfect dog leg for our back nine. <laughs> there is some spice on the nose. I went in too deep. I got too. Uh, That's got, what she said. That's what she said. Uh, what? Uh, is there scorpion in this? They, what peppers is it? It's a ghost. Habanero. I'm smelling grapefruit. Ghost habanero. Get some smoke. Some smoky. But it's it's the habanero I'm smelling. Tangy. Ta yeah, tangy, earthy, touch of vinegar. It reminds me of Tabasco. Tabasco is more. Yeah, not Tabasco. Yeah, not Tabasco. I <laughs> smell grapefruit and Tabasco. Grapefruit. I can smell and I can taste. Grapefruit? There's no grapefruit. I don't get the grapefruit. No. You gonna have them go in? Yeah. Ooh! I get the oak from the bourbon barrel. That's the earthy note I was, I was getting earlier. Got the oak. It's got a unique heat palette to it, where it's both sharp and dull at the same time. It's not killing my palate. It's not over. It's not over hot. The heat has got heat to it. I get the habanero more than I get the ghost. But it's 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 the heat stuck on my the top of my the roof of my. I'm getting mouth really mm -hmm. it was a it was like a delayed kick i'm getting some heat at the end but <clears throat> when i first ate it i didn't get any heat but i'm getting it i get heat. it's a creeper see i'm a this you, you say none you say it's a creeper and i got it immediately you you, you covered yours that's true oh yeah you down that's it. true if you're uh where's the cap as far as uh my favorite peppers go if we're gonna line them up, there's a heat. I get it now. Habanero's down way down the bottom. I don't mind the Reaper, as we've come to find out. I don't mind the Reaper. I'm trying to think, decide what I would want to this on. I'll tell you exactly where the sauce belongs. Picture in your mind's eye, chili. Huh? Hell yeah, chili. So, <clears throat> you know. So what then? What do you add that would be better? This would be better than chili. But chili would be perfect. Maybe for not that. like a traditional. Chili, but like a. Yeah. That's gonna add some heat. It's gonna add flavor. A delayed heat, though. It's not gonna overpower. It's not gonna burn anybody out of the kitchen. My wife. Except for his wife, who doesn't like pepper. I, I, I did. I did like the the last Hellfire we had. Probably a little bit better than this, uh, just because I thought I thought it had more flavor, I guess, overall. But this is gonna go perfect in a chili. Okay, so you. We're at the time of the show. Which one's your favorite? Squeeze bottle. 
I like I like heat. I like spice. So of the three, the only one that I got any heat one from was this one, but it was delayed. I, I finished my whole chicken wing before I got any heat. Okay. Um, but after I got the heat, it's 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 very nice. I like the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. So this I think is my favorite. I'm gonna go with that as well. Although uh, their intro was a fine sauce, but Ryan's going with this. Jen and I are going with Hellfire. Boom! Another successful in heatness. I don't know how to DM me, but you should DM me and let me know what's up with the sticker. Come on. Where's the sticker? A sticker for a sticker fans. We need stick the sticker. Stick it in an envelope. Do, do, do your thing. I'm just saying. We want two stickers on the next month's subscription. <laughs> or just tell your packaging people, hey, quality quality assurance, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. But hey, that's about it for today. You have anything to add? No. Nope. You have anything to add? No, I'm good, thanks. Well, I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. Ryan. We'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>Oh, by the way, you just got shorted a sticker. The following paragraph says, This month's sticker what? pays tribute to Hot Ones Truth or Dab, the game with a nod to the world capital of gaming, Vegas, baby. <laughs> Have you gone full Hot Ones high roller and nabbed the game for you and your squad? Yes, we did. No we, sticker. But, but no sticker. So there was a sticker. Defective. Just didn't make the box. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna chalk it up so this has never happened before. I'm gonna say it's probably human packaging error. I'm gonna tell you. I'm, without knowing, I'm guessing they have people that package these, and somebody shorted me a sticker. And it's Vegas. Heatonist. DM him. Get his address. You should have it on file. I was doing my hand dance. Yeah, she hand dances. <laughs>